But today I felt like practicing some landscapes of all the places that I would like to visit in the world. So the first place I wanted to draw were these. Um, they're the Meru pyramids in Sudan. I probably pronounced that wrong. They were all built around 4,600 years ago. They're like 200 or more. If you take a small section in Sudan, there are probably more pyramids there than there are in the whole of Egypt. So the place they were built is called Meru, um, which was the capital of an ancient kingdom called Kush, which was ruled by Nubian kings. So they're all built in a Nubian style, which means the pyramids themselves have quite small bases and really steep slopes. If you think of an Egyptian pyramid, they normally have a wider base with less of an incline. They're also a lot bigger. The interesting thing about them is that a lot of them have the tops cut off of them, and that's because when they were discovered in the 1880s by an Italian explorer, uh, he basically cut all of the tops off so he could look for treasure. Some of them were rebuilt, so they're not all originals, but a lot of them are just left the way that he left them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's not exactly a travel destination due to the huge civil war going on, so um, not exactly a spot I would recommend trying to visit. I'm also aware that for this drawing, um, Procreate didn't record it properly, so I'm just going to put images of the different layers that I ended up with, so hopefully that gives you a better idea of how I made it if, if you're interested. So this next one is in New Zealand, which is another place that I'd love to go. There's nowhere in particular in New Zealand I'd like to go, I'd like to just see a lot of it. I picked the Kite Kite Falls in Auckland, just because I think they're really pretty. I now realise that there's a mistake with my drawing, because I only drew three of the tiers of the waterfall, but the waterfall is actually six tiers. It has like a smaller section at the top that I didn't draw in. So the three tiers that I drew is about 40 meters high, so that's 130 feet ish but with the extra three tiers they're around twice the size so i guess the three tiers aren't that small um there used to be a dam there when they milled cowrie uh, which is a kind of conifer tree so all the trees in the area were cut down and they're all fairly new so it's not exactly historic i guess okay so the video for this turned out pretty good i have a bit of a system now with drawing landscapes um where i do line art first and then i do more shadows and then I put uh, a block colour in for the land and then one for the sky and one for water as well, if there is water in the picture. So the next place is Japan. There are so many places in Japan that I want to go to visit, but for this drawing I focused on Mount Fuji. Um, just because it's a really iconic symbol of Japan, really, no particular reason other than that. And it makes for a quite nice symmetrical piece. So Mount Fuji itself is 3,776 meters high, which is around 12,000 feet. It's an active volcano. Um, it's actually three separate volcanoes that are like kind of on top of each other. But um, the last time it erupted was in 1707, where it erupted constantly for two weeks. Another interesting fact that I found was that women were forbidden to climb it until 1868 due to religious reasons. But the first Western woman to climb it was in 1969, so she didn't hang around. The first Western woman to climb it was a woman called Lady Fanny Parks. But yeah, it's now the most climbed mountain in the world. So I really like the way I did the clouds in this piece, even though they're a little bit, the shadows on them are a bit too harsh. So I'll keep that in mind for the next one I do, but I really like the water as well. I love doing water this way. Okay, so the next one is some ancient Mayan temples in the jungle in Mexico. So Mayan people were known mainly for the gory sacrifice and the prediction of the end of the world back in 2012, you know, when the world didn't end. But um, the 21st of December thing, it was just the end of a 5,125 year long cycle. So it was like the long count calendar. 
So yeah, the world was never gonna end. I'm not sure if they did predict it, but it definitely wasn't on that day. Mines also did weird stuff to babies. Like, they pressed boards against their heads to make their foreheads flat, and they also used to hang, like, a pendulum really close in the middle of their eyes so that their eyes would be crossed, and then they'd stay there. Yeah, they were also super... they were super advanced. They had ball games and saunas and all stuff like that. And obviously math, because of all the calendars they had. So the specific image is based on Calakmul, which is in... It's in a rainforest in Mexico that I'm not going to try and pronounce because I will butcher it. Um, so the site was discovered in 1931 by an American called Cyrus Lundell. He's the one that noted it down anyway. So it had an estimated population of around 50,000 back in the day. It has over 6,000 ancient structures identified within the place. The two structures in the drawing are the two main ones. But there's a load under the forest canopy that you can't see. So the last place I want to talk about is um, these ice caves or glacier caves in Alaska. I just think they're so pretty. They're also really fun to draw because I love drawing water. So one of the few facts that I knew about Alaska before going into this is that um, the capital is called Juneau because my grandparents have an Alaskan Malamute that they named Juneau because it was the capital of Alaska. So just south of Juneau is the Mendenhall Valley containing this massive glacier which are where all these ice caves are found. So the caves are formed when um, ice below the surface melts and kind of forms a river within the glacier and then it melts away more as the, as the water cuts through. So um, the caves change a lot because of the flow of water, it refreezes and then melts. I mean, it melts more than it refreezes because, you know, global warming. So the glacier has been retreating which has formed the Mendenhall Lake. So the lake was formed in 1931 and has continued to increase as the size of the glacier decreases. The glacier itself is around 19 kilometers long, 12 miles. I think that's up to date, it's probably less by now. But yeah, it was first formed with 38 other glaciers around 3,000 years ago in the Juneau ice field. So the ice field is basically a river of glaciers so the ice is constantly moving, plus all this water is moving inside of the ice, carving out different paths and caves and everything. I think you can go on tours of these caves as well, which is something I'd love to do. I mean, I should really get on and do it, otherwise I'm not going to be there for long. Um, but yeah, I just think ice is real pretty. Because the roof is um, it's kind of like the beach after the tide goes out, where it's all ripply because of the water has gone over it. That's what the roof is like in these caves, it's so beautiful. I would so love to go see it. And also, I thrive in the cold. Cold is my place. I love it. I really like how this drawing turned out. I could have um, made the rocks a bit more defined, but I know that for next time. I hope you enjoyed this, because I enjoyed making it a lot. But yeah, I hope you'll stick around for the next one as well.